Hello YouTubers, today we're going to present, we're going to do a review to Cooler Master Seidon 120 V version 2. It supports socket LGA uh, 2011 version 3. It supports the socket 1150 and it has water cooling. So let's do an unboxing. So now let's see the pump and the cooler. It's like uh, in the box, it's like we expected. A nice box, good fit in the box, the pieces, good wrap in plastic covers, typically for Cooler Master. Here we have some sockets for the back of the motherboard. So we will use the socket 2011 version Free. So I think it will be here and here is the fan, it's a big fan. So this is a nice radiator, it looks very good. The pump, let's see the pump and let's be gentle with these hoses. Okay, so this water cooler is factory filled with coolant. Then sealed uh, and uh, the Cooler Master says it's tested, it's uh, pressure tested and requires zero maintenance for years. And this is interesting. You don't have to disassemble it and refill the liquid uh, for this cooler. This fan in particular, it's a silent fan. It says, uh, Cooler Master says that will uh, the air pressure will be strong and uh, this cooler will provide a lower noise and better performance than other coolers. And the fun life expectancy is 100,000 hours, so it's pretty big. It's below 27 decibels and it only consumes 0.60 amps, so it's 1.92 watts. The pump is expected to last 70,000 hours, it has some uh, kind of noise below 23 decibels. The consummation is only 0.3 amps, uh, that is in uh, watts, 3.6 watts. The warranty for this kit is 2 years. So guys, if you are overclockers or you want better performance or a silent performance uh, compared to the uh, radiator, to the aluminum fan radiators, this one will do the job, will be silent and will be very, very efficient. So we have some instructions in the manual. It presents us how to mount this. So now guys, I made some testing and I don't like this Cooler Master because it's very noisy and uh, not so efficient. It is efficient, don't get me wrong, but with overclocking and what I need, I don't like this radiator. So I'm switching the Cooler Master Seidon 120V version 2, the water cooling kit from uh, uh, Cooler Master and I hope it will be more efficient. So let's disassemble and assemble. So now to make it more efficient, I will cut loose these panels of the case for the heat to be more efficient evacuated. Even though it look good, I'm not interested in the image of this PC, I'm interested in the performance. First thing, mount your fan on the radiator and do not mount it when the radiator is uh, cut up with the case. So you will have some screws, these long screws will uh, assure that it will be perfectly fitted. Now we are sure that it will fit, so now take it out and you will have some 
some uh, protective cover and remove this and apply some thermal paste. I like applying the thermal paste with my hand because I can be sure it's uh, I will put on every surface. Be careful with the electronics not to touch with the thermal paste the electronics of, of the motherboard or some uh, other cards from your computer. And now we have consummated the whole thermal paste tube from Cooler Master and the paste it's on all surfaces is not a big layer of thermal paste is just perfect and we will be sure that it will be fitted perfectly to transfer all the heating from the CPU to, to this uh, this unit. It's best for you to wash your hands when you do this. I uh, <laughs> washed but this thermal paste it just uh, doesn't come off that easily. So now put in the hole screws to tie it evenly on all four sides. Now the connections. This is the fan. So the fan you have to connect it with the four pins and here is the three pins of the pump. So um, I have it in the main board just there the CPU and the CPU operational fan. So now the coolers looks good and if you see guys it's perfectly mounted here and with this evacuation the heat will be more evacuated. It doesn't look good I know but if you if you want a performance you got to make sacrifices so I sacrifice my uh, PC case. So guys this is the review and the tutorial for uh, how to mount the Cooler Master water cooling system the Seidon 120V version 2. Please subscribe to our channel guys and watch that other uh, tutorial to how to build a, a super PC and you will see all the components of this PC. Um, I will show you uh, just uh, a little bit some images with the main board it's uh, Asus Extreme Rampage version 5 so uh, with SSDs so thumbs up guys if you like this video subscribe to our channel for more tutorials and reviews we are i technology reviews you got to love technology because technology is part of our lives see you guys bye